hey guys welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a long time since I've made any videos but that was because I was sort of busy with my office and I suddenly had a lot of responsibilities going on and a lot of work pressure so I am really sorry I couldn't make time for this and I know a lot of you who have been following the mean stack server side tutorial have been waiting for the client side and I'm so sorry for making this so late but well better late than never right so what we are going to be making with our um, mean stack app is that as you've seen in the back end we've made a basically a simple blog with a post model and in that post model you could basically store whatever a post has like the attributes a post has so this app here you see this i know the name is kind of weird macchiato because that's like my favorite um favorite sort of coffee that's why i named it like that and you can find this repo in my github so i basically made it into a production ready software like you can basically deploy this app well once i'm done with the deploying uh, setup as well but well the client side and the server side is coded in such a way that you could easily write tests you could easily deploy this app and this app is production ready like it's not a noobish kind of app you would make with an angular or with um node like for example with angular js you could make a one page application like just like that but that's not how you would want to have uh, like a full fledged software right you would want to have proper like model views and controller like and a proper a proper mvc architecture this app sort of provides that and as you can see the server side and the client side are fully separate and uh, it's like you could hook in like for example you don't want to use express js you want to use maybe Python you want to use Django or flask so you could just change out the server folder inside the server folder you could just put all your flask or Django code and the client and the server are just communicating with each other via ports like they're just using endpoints and both of them are running on different ports. The front end is running on port 3000, the back end is running in port 8000. That depends on whatever your app has been configured to. Like you can configure the ports as well. So that you can find, uh, so you can basically find out like how the file structure is so easy. You could see that, for example, the back end I've already covered. It's the same as what I've done in the previous tutorials. I've just uh, pushed it here over here. That's it. But the, the, the back end is pretty easy it's the same as before but the front end this is what we're going to be talking about in this whole series and let's take a look at how the front end app looks like basically you could keep you could just take my uh, you could just pull my github repo and then you could just run this app and it would look exactly like you're seeing over here and this is how the posts look like there are like two posts at the moment and this is the home page and if you want to see the post page this is how a simple post page looks like. You could edit, you could edit the post and you could delete the post and then you could publish a new post over here. Uh, let's just write one, um, for example, revenge. Okay. And who would write this? Sasuke Uchiha. I'm a big Naruto fan. So yeah, I will have a lots of Naruto examples going on around here. I need to restore my clan. Yes, that's all he talks about. Restore my clan, take revenge, kill Itachi, blah, blah, blah. Now. All right. So let's publish it. And voila, it's created. Now, if you go to the home page, you see three posts now instead of two. So yeah, that's how this app works. It's a very simple app. I've also done the unit testing for this app as well. So right now I've just shown you how the app looks like and what we're going to be building in the in the upcoming tutorial. So uh, the first the prerequisite for this tutorial is some basic knowledge of Angular because I'm I don't I don't want to cover the whole the whole basics like what are modules, what are uh, well, I'll I'll cover some parts as I go because I will be explaining why am I why am I writing a certain piece of code. But uh, the way I'll be working towards Angular is that I will expect that you know at least a basic knowledge or at least know how to create a single one-page application, like uh, maybe 
uh, like that's not maybe production ready but you could at least create you could at least create some stuff with angular so i'll be uh, going to going in towards more production side production ready like more into like how to how to make an angular application using proper software engineering co conventions and how to structure the folder and everything so that's what i'll be covering and of course how to make this beauty over here so keep uh, so first i would like to suggest that Take a look in the AngularJS documentation. Take a look at my GitHub repo. Pull it, pull the, or download or clone it, clone my app, for example. And then just look into the file structure because this is what you're be, going to be covering in the next tutorials. And so, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, well, you they will be covered in the next tutorials, I hope so. And yeah, so I'll see you then.